Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at another Ricotta Wave tutorial. Uh, specifically, we are going to look at how we can optimize an engine model that you've just built. So this video was suggested by Chris in the comments of one of my other Ricotta Wave videos. So Chris, this video is for you. Hope you enjoy it. That it answer any questions that you might have. Sorry, it took three months, but I finally got around to it. So when we want to optimize any aspect of an engine in Ricardo Wave, we can use a built-in function of Ricardo, which is design of experiments. Now this feature isn't available yet in the newer user interface. So we need to go over to the older user interface to be able to use it. I'm going to use a one cylinder engine for this demonstration. And the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that the engine properties that you want to optimize needs to be allocated a variable. So for this optimization, I am going to optimize duct one and duct 2's lengths. First thing you need to do is to go and allocate variables to the values that you want to optimize. So I am just going to say duct one length. I do the same thing for my duct two's length. Press OK. And now I need to make sure that these two variables are also in my variables list, in my constants list. Once you've changed the values that you want to optimize into variables, we can head on over to the optimization tool. And we can find that when we click on run, wave, and right at the bottom, experiment. This brings out a separate window and you can see in this list here for the available experiments, there are none. So we need to add one. And now we can select from the available variables in our constants list that we want to optimize. Now, as I said, I'm going to optimize the duct lengths. Obviously for you, it will be different, but just as, but now you can see why it is important that you need to make sure that the values you want to optimize has in fact variables because they will show up in this table over here. You can also select multiple by holding in the control key. So I've got these two, and then you need to give it minimum and maximum values. So for arguments purposes, I'm going to give its default values as the minimum. And that was 35 for both, both, and I'm going to take 200 for the maximum. And we can press OK. You will see the right half of the window is updated with our two duct lengths. And it has gone and created a design of experiments running list where it alternates between the different length values increasing it or decreasing it. And that is just sort of the methodology that is used by design of experiments. You can also opt to look at different engine speeds by changing the number of speeds here. I'm going to keep to five and I'm going to change it between a thousand RPM and 4,000 RPM. And then you can press here at the bottom to interlate between those minimum and maximum. And now we are ready to let loose the optimization beast, which is contained in Ricardo Wave. And we do that by clicking on execute. You have then some options to sort of say where you want it to be. I'm just gonna make that experiment two and we can run it and it'll save your data in there. One out of 45, this is going to take some time. So I'm going to skip forward to where it is finished. A few moments later. So I had to make a few changes because obviously when I record a tutorial, record a wave decides to be difficult and doesn't want to give output results. So I changed my engine speed from a thousand to three thousand and my duct lengths I've changed to be between 20 and 200. Now, obviously I've already run this just to make sure that it does work this time. Um, but if in the event you want to revisit your results, you can, you can always go here at the top and just say view and it will bring up the results that it has, the results it have calculated previously. Now this ladies and gentlemen is a really, really nice interface. And this is where you can start playing around and optimize towards what you want. Now I know Chris, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, wanted to optimize torque output. And here you can see is all the targets of all the outputs measured in Ricardo Wave. So whatever you fancy to optimize, you can select here. I've opted for torque in SI units, volumetric efficiency, as well as brake specific fuel consumption and BMEP. At the bottom, we can see the two duct lengths, duct one and duct two, 
and it's got little slider scales where you can change the values. And then to the right, we have got graphs showing us the results as a function of engine RPM. Now you can clearly see what happens with each output as the engine speed increases. And the nice thing now is you can cl right click on any of these graphs. So if um, I'm interested in torque and I'm gonna right click on torque, you can see add a target data point. So if you're interested in a specific torque output, you can add that, or you can say maximize torque output or minimize torque output. So if I click maximize torque output, you will see that both of these slider scales have maxed out at 200 and the graph has changed as well. So to, in order to get a maximum torque output, both ducts needs to have a diameter or a length needs to have a length of 200 millimeters. But then also you can see that the changes in the other parameters. Now I'm just going to go for examples for, for argument's sake and going to say I want to maximize brake specific fuel consumption and um, now have a look at what happens with the graphs as well as with the slider scales. And you can see the sliders have, have, have changed where duct one has moved to the other side of the scale and the other gra graphs have updated accordingly. So this is a really, this is a really powerful tool that you can use if you're interested in optimizing geometry in your engine or you want to optimize even combustion strategies um, like for instance start of combustion um, start of injection or um, when or how many percentage you want to model as being pre-mixed burn fraction etc now just a note of warning when you use these you need to always go have a look here at the bottom at the R squared value and the RMS errors, because this will show you how confident Ricardo Wave is in its results. Now, if I click on the R squared one, you can see the graphs have updated. And for those of you that are familiar with statistics, the R squared value usually gives an indication on the best fit or, or how confident the, the line is for representing all the data. And the higher or the closer to one, the R squared value is the better the data is fitting the line. And you can see these values are varying for each engine RPM speed, especially at 2500 RPM, the R squared value is not that high at all. And as such caution needs to be exercised when reporting on this data, because this might not necessarily be accurate. So do have a look at these and make sure that you understand the R squared values. And if you are happy with their values in that they either represent all the correlated data correctly, or there is no real significant fit to the majority of the data, as you can see here at 2,500 RPM. There's a bunch of other things that you can do as well. You can verify the fit where Ricardo Wave just goes and do some additional runs just to get some additional data. And you can also select some of the other stuff. So here's the RMS error. Again, showing at 2,500, we've got some significant error compared to the others, which are a bit lower. And these show verification and center point fin just gives you a lot of other data that you can use to inform your choices. So do try this experiment analysis panel out. It is really useful if you're interested in optimizing your engine design and can be really helpful in shedding some light on how to optimize your engine for a certain, for a specific output that you require. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye.